They say all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. But there are a lucky few who get to play at work and make it pay. In fact, Apple Computer was put on the map by a couple of young men employing just such a strategy. Now a similar story may be unfolding near Dallas. Byron Harris reports. It's three-dimensional. It's texture map. It's Wolfenstein, one of the hottest selling computer games in the world, in which B.J. Blastowitz storms a Nazi bunker in search of Adolf Hitler. The game is the creation of John Romero and five other computer whizzes who comprise a company called id Software. Together with another firm called Apogee Software, Romero and his co-workers have parlayed a love of computers and computer games into a multi-million dollar business. This year, Apogee, which sells software, and id, which creates it, will gross close to $5 million, up from $6,000 two years ago. 31-year-old Scott Miller and 29-year-old George Broussard, who own Apogee, discovered a breakthrough in marketing computer games. They sell directly to the public. But first, they give away part of the games they sell through a service called Shareware. We take a, a, a larger game and break it into several smaller parts, and we put the first part out in Shareware so that people can try it and see if they like it. And if they do, they can order the rest of them back through us. Apogee's first big seller was called Commander Keen, a game about an eight-year-old genius who makes a spaceship out of household items and saves the planet. The game was created by id Software, which has a special touch for success. The people we've recruited are, for the most part, people who have had a background in game playing. That's, that's, they have to have programming skills, but they, on top of that, they need to be game players. This is id Software headquarters. John Romero and partner Jay Wilbur are hard at work playing games. They consider it research. When the latest game comes out, that's real cool new technology. We're already way past that because of the research we've been doing during the development of the game. One of the reasons for Wolfenstein's success is texture mapping, a technique for giving surfaces realistic texture. That quality did not come easily. It is achieved by clever programs which squeeze the most out of a computer's components. Despite the frivolity at id, it's a lot of 16-hour days by programmers, artists, and designers that make the game successful and the place does have the magic of a successful enterprise. Work and play here are the same thing. Byron Harris, NBR, Dallas.